Is Rafale really that good compared to the F-16? Picture this. Two iconic fighter jets from different corners of the world. The sleek, French-made Rafale and the sturdy, American-born F-16. Each holds a reputation of power, precision and prowess. But how do they stack up against each other? Is the Rafale, as touted by many, truly superior to the F-16? Or does the F-16 still hold its ground? These are questions worth exploring. So, let's dive into the details and find out. Hailing from the land of the Eiffel Tower, Rafale is a twin-engine, canard delta wing, multi-role fighter aircraft designed and built by Dassault Aviation. This magnificent machine embodies the French spirit of excellence and innovation. Now what makes Rafale so special? Let's delve into its technical specifications. The Rafale is powered by two M882 engines, each boasting a thrust of over 11,000 pounds. This gives the aircraft an edge in terms of speed topping out at a staggering Mach 2.0 or over 1,500 miles per hour. But speed is not the only thing that sets the Rafale apart. It's a multi-role fighter, meaning it's designed to do it all. From air supremacy and interdiction to reconnaissance and nuclear deterrence, the Rafale can handle it. This versatility is a crucial asset in modern warfare, where unpredictability is the name of the game. Now, let's talk armament. The Rafale can carry an impressive array of weaponry, from air-to-air -air missiles like the Meteor, to air-to-ground precision-guided munitions like the Scalp Cruise Missile. The Rafale is a formidable opponent in any combat scenario. But even the most potent weaponry is of little use without the right avionics. And this is where the Rafale truly shines. Its RBE-2 AESA radar allows for unparalleled situational awareness, and its advanced electronic warfare suite provides a high level of protection against various threats. One of the most notable features of the Rafale is its Spectra electronic warfare system. This system provides a full sphere of protection, detecting, localizing, and identifying threats then applying the most effective countermeasures. And let's not forget the Rafale's impressive flight characteristics. Its canard delta wing design offers excellent maneuverability, making it a tough target in a dogfight. In addition, its high rate of climb and ability to operate from both land and aircraft carriers add to its operational flexibility. Rafale, a true embodiment of French engineering prowess. Born in the USA, the F-16 Fighting Falcon popularly known as the Viper, is a single-engine supersonic, multi-role fighter aircraft originally developed by General Dynamics. This bird of prey has been gracing the skies since 1974, making a name for itself in the annals of aviation history. At its heart, the F-16 boasts a powerful Pratt and Whitney F-100 PW200 afterburning turbofan engine, enabling it to reach a top speed of over Mach 2 that's twice the speed of sound for those keeping score at home. This speed, coupled with an impressive service ceiling of 50,000 feet, ensures the Viper can strike with the swiftness and ferocity of its namesake. But the F-16 isn't just about raw speed, it's also about agility. Its lightweight frame combined with a high thrust-to-weight ratio allows for exceptional maneuverability. This makes the F-16 a formidable opponent in dogfights capable of executing tight turns and complex aerobatic maneuvers with relative ease. Yet, what truly sets the F-16 apart is its multi-role capabilities. Equipped with an array of weaponry, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and a 20mm Vulcan cannon, the F-16 can engage in both air superiority missions and ground attack operations. This versatility makes it a valuable asset in any conflict scenario. Moreover, the F-16's advanced avionics, including a heads-up display and a radar warning receiver, provide the pilot with vital situational awareness. This, coupled with a bubble canopy that offers an unobstructed view of the surroundings, ensures the pilot is always one step ahead of the enemy. Lastly, the F-16 is cost-effective. Its relatively low acquisition and operation costs have made it a popular choice among many nations. In fact, it has been sold to over 25 countries, a testament to its enduring appeal. In conclusion, 
The F-16 is more than just a fighter jet. It's a symbol of technological innovation, a testament to human ingenuity, and above all, a cornerstone of American military power. The F-16, a symbol of American military dominance. Two modern marvels of aviation. But how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive right into it. The Rafale, a twin-engine canard delta wing, multi-role fighter aircraft, and the F-16 Fighting Falcon, a single-engine supersonic multi-role fighter aircraft, both have their unique attributes. Each has been designed with a specific set of capabilities, making them apt for certain missions. In terms of air superiority, the Rafale holds a slight edge. Its active electronically scanned array radar can track multiple targets at once, making it a formidable opponent in aerial combat. The F-16, on the other hand, while having a robust radar system, falls slightly short in this department. When it comes to ground attack missions, both jets are well equipped. The Rafale's ability to carry a broad range of weapons and its high survivability make it an effective strike aircraft. The F-16 doesn't lag behind, with its precision-guided munitions and excellent low-altitude maneuverability. In the realm of interception, the F-16 shines with its high thrust-to-weight ratio and impressive top speed. The Rafale, while not as fast, compensates with its advanced sensors and high off-bore sight missile capability. Now let's consider the strength of their armor. The Rafale is built with composite materials that are both light and strong, providing an excellent balance between protection and performance. The F-16, while not as heavily armored, is designed for high survivability with its redundant hydraulic systems and structural strength. In terms of range and endurance, the Rafale takes the lead. Its in-flight refueling capability and high fuel capacity give it a significant advantage, allowing it to stay airborne for longer periods. The F-16, though not as enduring, is no slouch with its efficient engine and comparatively lighter weight. Then there's the matter of versatility. The Rafale is a true omnirole fighter capable of performing air supremacy, interdiction, reconnaissance and nuclear deterrence missions. The F-16, while primarily an air superiority fighter, has adapted over the years to perform a wide range of roles as well, although it may not be as flexible as the Rafale in this regard. The Rafale's suite of advanced avionics, including its RBE-2AA radar and front sector optronics, give it an edge in terms of situational awareness. The F-16, while equipped with modern avionics, might not have the same level of sophistication. In the end, both the Rafale and F-16 are exceptional machines, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. When you look at their technical specifications, it's clear that both aircraft are more than capable of holding their own in a variety of scenarios. The choice between them often comes down to the specific needs and strategies of the Air Force they serve. A close call, isn't it? So, is Rafale really that good compared to the F-16? Here's a recap of what we've covered. We've delved into the technical aspects of both these state-of-the-art fighter jets. The Rafale, a twin-engine, Canard Delta Wing, multi-role fighter aircraft developed by French company Dassault Aviation, boasts of impeccable speed, agility and weapon system. Its omni-role capabilities make it a formidable asset in any aerial combat scenario. On the other hand, the F-16, a single-engine supersonic multi-role fighter aircraft originally developed by General Dynamics for the United States Air Force, is no less impressive. It's renowned for its maneuverability, innovative design and versatility in multiple combat roles. When it comes to the face-off, the Rafale and the F-16 have their unique strengths. The Rafale's superior radar and sensor technologies give it an edge in beyond visual range combat, while the F-16's high thrust-to-weight ratio and dogfighting capabilities make it a formidable adversary in close combat scenarios. In the context of their respective countries' air forces, both jets play a critical role. The Rafale, being an integral part of the Indian Air Force, not only bolsters its offensive capabilities, but also significantly enhances its defensive prowess. Similarly, the F-16, a mainstay in the United States Air Force, 
has proven its mettle in numerous operations worldwide, showcasing its robustness and reliability. However, the Indian Air Force could certainly benefit from further enhancements. Upgrades in avionics armament and stealth technologies, coupled with rigorous training and strategic planning, can go a long way in ensuring the Rafale's optimal performance and the overall efficacy of the Indian Air Force. In conclusion, the Rafale and the F-16 are both exceptional aircraft, each with its own set of strengths and capabilities. They are a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of technological advancement in the field of aeronautics. Regardless of the winner, both the Rafale and F-16 are exceptional pieces of aeronautic engineering, each serving their nations with pride.